Have you ever found yourself wondering why, if God loves us so much, He allows us to go through difficult times? Well, it's a question that has puzzled many over the ages. Life is a roller coaster ride filled with peaks of joy and valleys of adversity. These challenges, these trials, these times of hardship can often put our faith to the test. Faith, the bedrock of our spiritual journey, can sometimes seem to waver in the face of adversity. It's in these moments that we may question the purpose of our struggles, the reason behind our pain. But it's crucial to remember that faith isn't about having a smooth ride. It's about holding on even when the ride gets bumpy, even when we can't see the road ahead. These trials, as daunting as they may be, are opportunities for our faith to grow, to strengthen, to shine. But remember, it's during these times of adversity that our faith can truly shine the brightest. Consider the story of Job, a man who lost everything yet never lost his faith. Job was a man of immense wealth and prosperity, blessed with a loving family and vast lands. He was a righteous man, always faithful to God. But one day, his world turned upside down. He lost his children, his wealth, and was afflicted with painful sores. This tale of loss may seem unimaginable, but it's the story of a man who held on to his faith against all odds. Despite his friends urging him to curse God and die, Job remained steadfast. He questioned his circumstances, yes, but he never once cursed God. He understood that just as we rejoice in our blessings, we must also accept hardship. In the midst of his suffering, Job uttered these powerful words. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? This is a profound statement of faith, demonstrating his unwavering belief in God's sovereignty. Even in his anguish, Job chose faith over despair. Job's story is a testament to the power of faith in the face of adversity. His faith was not dependent on his circumstances. His faith was rooted in his trust in God, a trust so deep that it could weather the most devastating storms of life. Job's faith was not a fair-weather faith. It was a faith that held firm even when everything else was lost. In the end, Job's faith was rewarded. God restored his fortunes, giving him twice as much as he had before. He was blessed with ten more children and lived for many more years, seeing his children and their children to the fourth generation. Job's story shows us that even when we lose everything, our faith can remain unshaken. It's a reminder that faith is not about having everything go our way. It's about trusting God, even when we don't understand why things are happening the way they are. It's about believing in God's goodness, even when life seems anything but good. Or take Daniel, a man who faced the lion's den but never wavered in his faith. Now Daniel was a man of extraordinary faith and integrity. He was a captive in Babylon, yet he rose to high positions because of his exceptional qualities. And even when he was faced with laws that went against his faith, he chose to stay true to God, regardless of the consequences. This steadfast faith led him to a situation that most of us would consider a nightmare. He was thrown into a den of lions as a punishment for praying to God, defying the king's decree. Now imagine the fear, the uncertainty, the roar of the hungry lions echoing in the pit. But did Daniel waver? Not for a moment. He had unwavering faith in God, and he believed that God would keep him safe. And guess what? God didn't disappoint. An angel was sent to shut the mouths of the lions, protecting Daniel from harm. Despite the dire circumstances, he emerged from the lion's den without a scratch. His faith had shielded him, his trust in God had saved him. This wasn't just a miraculous survival story, it was a testament to the power of faith. Daniel's faith in God was so strong that it overcame what seemed like an impossible situation. He trusted in God's plan for him and God protected him from the lion's wrath. Daniel's story is a powerful example for all of us. It shows us that faith is not just about believing in God when things are going well. It's about holding on to that belief even when we're thrown into our own metaphorical lion's dens. It's about trusting God's plan for us even when we can't see the way forward. It's about knowing that God is with us even in the face of the most daunting challenges. Daniel's story reminds us that when we trust in God, He can protect us from even the most formidable adversities. So, whenever you find yourself in the lion's den of life, remember Daniel. Remember his unwavering faith and know that with faith, you too can overcome. So how can we, like Job and Daniel, maintain our faith through difficult times? Well, there are several tools and practices we can adopt that can help us to hold on to our faith and hope, even amid adversity. Firstly, prayer. Prayer is a direct line of communication with God. 
It's a chance to express our emotions, seek guidance, and find solace in His presence. It's not about presenting a laundry list of requests, but rather about forming a personal relationship with our Creator. When we are faced with difficulties, prayer becomes a beacon of hope, a lifeline that connects us to the divine. As the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. The second tool is reading scripture. The Bible is not just a book, but a guide, a source of comfort, and a tool for spiritual growth. It contains stories of people who have faced adversity, yet held on to their faith, offering us both solace and guidance. When faced with challenges, delving into the Bible can provide us with a sense of direction and purpose. As it says in the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4, For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. Lastly, being part of a supportive community. A community of believers can provide us with encouragement, support, and a sense of belonging. They can uplift us when we're down, pray with us, and remind us of God's love and faithfulness. It's in this collective strength that we find the courage to face our adversities. As it is beautifully captured in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25, let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Regularly engaging in these practices can help us to strengthen our faith. They remind us of God's love, His promises, and His faithfulness even in times of adversity. They provide us with a sense of hope and a firm foundation to stand on when everything else seems to be shaking. Remember, faith is not about never having doubts or fears. It's about choosing to trust God even when the path ahead seems uncertain. It's about holding on to hope when circumstances seem hopeless. It's about believing that even in our darkest hour, God is with us, guiding us, and working for our good. By incorporating these tools into your life, you can keep your faith strong even in the midst of adversity. In conclusion, faith isn't about having a perfect life, it's about trusting God even when the going gets tough. We've journeyed together through the lives of Job and Daniel, two biblical examples of unwavering faith in the face of adversity. We've learned that these men, despite their circumstances, held steadfast in their faith, trusting in God's plan and purpose for their lives. Remember Job, a man who lost everything, yet refused to curse God. His story is a powerful reminder that faith is not about our circumstances, but rather about our trust in God's sovereignty. Then there's Daniel. He was thrown into a lion's den, yet emerged unscathed because of his unfaltering faith. His story teaches us that faith is about maintaining our trust in God even when faced with life-threatening situations. And we've also explored some practical tools to maintain faith. Prayer, for instance, is a powerful tool in keeping our faith strong. It's our direct line to God, a way to seek His guidance and find comfort in His presence. Reading and meditating on the scriptures is another tool. The Bible is filled with promises from God, assurances of His love, care, and protection. It has numerous stories of ordinary people who, through faith, were able to do extraordinary things. In the face of difficulty, remember these examples and tools. Trust in God's plan and hold on to your faith. It may not always be easy, but remember, faith isn't about having a perfect life. It's about trusting God, even when the going gets tough. If you found this video helpful, please push the like button and share to help someone else in need. Together we can navigate through adversity with the love and support of our Savior Jesus Christ. Become a part of our family and subscribe to our channel. May God bless you in all your endeavors. Thank you for watching.